Welcome to this mini-series on SQL Server 2008. This is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today we will uh, take a look at uh, using SQL CMD, which is a command line utility. So let's jump right into it. As far as the overview, the SQL CMD is a powerful, powerful command line utility. Uh, this is a replacement of OSQL which was uh, used in the prior versions. Uh, it has uh, been uh, changed quite a bit and we have uh, lots of uh, new features that have been added to SQL CMD. Now the typical use for SQL CMD is to run ad hoc execution of transact SQL statements also for using uh, automating transact SQL scripting tasks uh, you can also use the SQL CMD mode in SQL Server Management Studio Query Editor. And then finally, uh, it can be used to run SQL Server Agent CMD exec jobs. So this is uh, definitely an important tool that you should know about. As far as the syntax for SQL CMD, uh, I have shown just a little partial syntax down here. Uh, you start by typing SQL CMD and then you use lots of switches. Uh, uh, we will uh, just discuss a few, um, a few of these. So when you use the dash U option, you're essentially giving uh, the SQL Server login. Next is the dash P, which is using the password. The preferred option to connect using SQL CMD is to use the uh, E option which uh, utilizes the trusted connection. The next important switch is um, dash s which where you will be listing your server name and also the instance and then uh, the next two important options are i which uses the input file. This would be used uh, let's say if you have a SQL Server script uh, SQL script that you want to use as your input you can use that and then uh, you can also use the O switch to um, output the data to uh, another file. Uh, if we switch to um, the um, books online for SQL Server, you can uh, definitely uh, look at the uh, complete syntax. Uh, here, <coughs> here you will notice that there are a lot more switches and uh, they do uh, they do a good job of explaining this uh, in books online. So like I mentioned it uh, it uses switches which are typically displayed as a dash or um, or a forward slash and an example of uh, SQL CMD would be uh, down here if you notice that uh, first you type in SQL CMD this will start your session and then you you can go ahead and uh, type in your SQL statements. Pretty much it's an alternate to using the uh, the management studio and it could be uh, that you may not be have access to management studio or maybe you're trying to run some batches so uh, definitely is a good alternate uh, method to wor working with SQL Server. Now for today's demo essentially we will be um, doing a few things the first thing we will do is uh, we will run an ad hoc query and then I will also show you the uh, colon ed option which can be used to edit SQL and this is brand new for this tool um, we will also run a SQL script uh, using an input and output file and then finally we will issue a DOS command some DOS commands from within SQL so let's go ahead and launch this tool you can just go to start run type CMD and then here I will uh, let me go ahead and make this a little bit big uh, I'm going to type in SQL CMD and uh, when you don't give it any switches it basically uses default options like using the trusted connection and it will also look for your um, local uh, instance of SQL Server which is the default instance so uh, first thing I want to do is just run some ad hoc queries. Uh, I'm going to use the Northwind database. And then I will say select star 
from let's go ahead and pick a table from Northwind database I just switched to management studio so that I can see uh, the data so let's let's go ahead and pick the employees table and finally you you should type a you type go to run the data so there you go uh, we just returned a few records uh, looks like nine records from um, from the employees table next I want to uh, look at the uh, dot ed option which is essentially is it gives you a editor so if you just go ahead and type in uh, let's see okay so what this did is it uh, opened up a, a DOS editor now here what you could do is um, this would typically be used if you're typing multiple um, uh, multiple line SQL statements in our, in our case we're just going to use um, a different table I just want to make sure we have a customers table and then you can also say uh, let's let's just we'll just do a top 10 list of top 10 customers and so from the editor you can uh, select exit and it'll ask you if you want to save the file and you can just click on yes now now we're going to uh, go ahead and run it and it looks like we just returned 10 cus 10 uh, top customers so uh, that was using the uh, editor option next we are going to show you how to run a SQL script using an input and output file and uh, this is definitely I would say the most common use for SQL CMD is when you are trying to automate some tasks uh, for management and you have essentially an input file that you um, that is ready to be executed and then after that you can uh, send the results to an output file so I'm going to go to management studio and open up uh, this file uh, I've essentially saved some of these um, uh, commands so that I don't have to type it uh, let's just walk through this real quick uh, this is saying uh, I'm going to use SQL CMD here is my server using the S option I'm going to use an input file which is the SQL CMD one uh, 